Sturdy Shooters here with a little bit of product review warning, if you will. As you know, I've talked about it numerous times that I went to a snubby class from the wonderful Greg Elfritz and I learned a lot. And in that snubby class, I came out where I determined and I bought BK grip adapters for both of my five shots, J frame S, my chart arms off duty, as well as my model 36. The grip accuracy, I can't be more than excited and happy about. <clears throat> Excuse me. There is a caveat though. I'm gonna try and sew this. Hopefully you can see this. Let's see if it gets a black background here. All right, there we go. Now, you'll see these little copper tabs right here, okay? So the first couple times I shot these, it was just standard. I just wanna see if they work, they stay in place, whatever, no big rush, no whatever. Now the third and the fourth time I did it, I did it with a couple of drills where I drew from concealment, gauging a target in a mile distance away, and a string of fire. In kind of, not necessarily rapid succession, it was by no means a mag or cylinder dump, but it was still, you know, assertive. And I was noticing I was having some issues with the trigger, and I was like, I just ran a stubby class, they both ran fine, I had no hiccups, no whatever, I cleaned them, I lubricated them, and it dawned on me, what was the difference? I added the BK grip adapter. And you can actually see that pretty good right there. See those little copper tabs? Well, if you look really close, see if I can get some light on that for you. See those copper tabs in there? Well, this one right here on the top, right here on the top, right next to the spring, I noticed where the tab was pushed up, where the spring was rubbing against it, where I was manipulating the trigger and it caused my hiccups. So now, as you can see, I've taken just a plain old flat bladed screwdriver and I've pushed that bad boy down in there where it's well clear of that spring. And I re-secured the ones on the bottom. And on the opposite side, it just kind of hangs out there. See how that just kind of hangs out there? And that, it's a little different on this side. This is the chart arms off duty. It's, It's built a little different than the J-frame, but I'll show you the J-frame. This will be a little easier to see because it's black. See how that is there? And how I push them down underneath there. And on the other side. <laughs> That's crazy manipulation, ain't it? So, let's try this again. So, we're gonna take her back to range one more time. So, still a big fan. They've got great service. I get it within 10 days or 15 days, after, calendar days after I order it. But, you gotta be pay attention, especially on the off-duty, about how you're putting the tab in there and where it is in relation to the spring, because it will create a hiccup. So I think I probably got that problem solved now, but I thought it was interesting enough that you probably should share and be careful about how that works. Obviously on the J-frame, there's quite a bit of gap in there. That's not gonna be so much of an issue. So, in addition to that, one more reminder that on your carry guns in your pocket or your ankle, you really need to be cleaning them, getting the lint and the dirt out of them and lubricating them. Well, probably at least every other week, if not once a week. You don't have to do a big fold down tear down, but you gotta blow the lint out of them because that lint will get balled up and all greasy and it won't create malfunctions in any gun. Revolvers, auto loaders, it doesn't matter. So anyway, this is Discerning Shooters. Thanks for your time today. Be good, be safe, and if you can't be safe, be good and dangerous.